Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, you guys know we have a Black Widow problem. Yeah, Black Widows suck. And what sucks even worse is when you got a bunch of Black Widows in your house. If you guys remember the story, we don't live in Black Widow territory. Black Widows don't live in our area. But somehow our house got infested with Black Widows. We're pretty sure we know it came from some online purchases we made. Or a big online purchase we made. It was one really big purchase, but it came in several packages. So anyways, we think a spider snuck in there, and that's why we've had problems with Black Widows. We've tried all kind of things. People have given us some great, amazing suggestions. People have also gave us some horribly amazing, horribly amazing, amazingly horrible suggestions, too. Oh, man. On our previous YouTube channel, which was a lot bigger than this small channel we have here, and which means we got a lot of views, which means a lot of crazy people watch my videos. And some of them crazy people started sending us crazy things like centipedes and snakes and scorpions. Yes, scorpions, centipedes, snakes in the mail. Yeah, oh man, it was horrible. But all that weird horribleness, weirdness aside, there was also some good ideas too, like praying mantises. Praying mantises do live in our area, so we've been trying, testing out, you know, praying mantises against black widows. In the wild, praying mantises do eat black widows. In my house, well, we haven't quite figured out the exact formula yet. So once again, we are asking that age-old question, how good are praying mantises at eating and getting rid of black widows? And if one mantis is good, would two mantises be even better? You know, like twice as good? Or would they just look at each other and eat each other? I don't know. But someday I certainly hope to find the answer to that question. Also, really quick, for those of you who do not know this, we raise our own praying mantises from egg casings, and we have for multiple generations now. Generations of mantises, not generations of people. So even when it's not mantis season, like right now, you know, middle of winter time, we have praying mantises, but we have another problem too. Sadly, for almost the last two years, we have been raising generations of black widows. Yes. Oh, man, that's creepy. I, I know. So, in an epic battle with praying mantises and black widows overrunning our house, where some people say, wouldn't you rather just have uh, some spiders instead of a praying mantis? They're scary. Well, you know, a praying mantis ain't gonna kill you, but, uh, hey, I don't like any of these bugs. And, and Yeah, but definitely I like a praying mantis a whole lot better than a dangerous black widow. And if you have a good suggestion on how to get rid of Black Widows, hey, I'm, you know, I'm always open to that. Leave it in the comments section. If you have some weird bug or scorpion or horrible thing, a tarantula, you want to send me, well, don't do it! All right, leave your comments in the comments section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.